haven't run with 10,000 people before. Usually it's just been myself, but I figure what the heck, you know, a little company can't hurt. Yeah, this is, of course, this is bigger even than the Boston Marathon in the, in the number of people in it, so it's just extremely exciting. is in the finish line. Now this is going to hopefully cut down on a lot of problems. It'll be much safer and we'll be able to handle the estimated 12,000 people that are going to enter this race, which right now it could go higher. We're not sure. We won't know until about March 1st. Now, they're on this ID tag, which will stay on the runners. We are not going to take this off of them at all for timing or anything. It has their name, their birth date, address, phone, city, state, zip, and medical info. So if you have a diabetic runner or someone who is allergic to penicillin, hopefully they will put this down so you won't have to try to find it out. And as the people go through where, it's, where we had a problem last year, as the, the mass gets through, the EMTs, say like at uh, the half mile mark, would move out and come to the finish line to prepare for the onslaught. I couldn't believe that so many people could stay in one group for such a long period of time, but I'll tell you what, they did. And uh, it was just unbelievable, that crowd. There's no way that you could feel like, you know, well, God, I can't run this anymore. I've got to stop because those people are just really pushing you on, you know. It's a lot of incentive. The sheer crowds, the sheer numbers, I remember coming down 15th Street and looking behind me and seeing that all four lanes, a mass of humanity, and all four lanes in front of me, as far as the eye could see. And it just, you just become overwhelmed and your adrenaline just picks up. And you just, it's just sort of, you're carried along. It's, it's absolutely, unless you've really run it, you can't, you, you'll never experience the thrill of it. Uh, I think especially the first race, your first race is probably absolutely uh, a real high, a real natural high. They sort of inspire you, you know, they keep you motivated. Everybody running, you see, you might see an old man run by and you say, hell, I can outrun here, you know, so keep on going. I don't run to race. Uh, in fact, I just run to feel good and to, to enjoy running. Uh, when races come along, I'm kind of an interesting little sideline. I, I think it's a challenge of uh, completing the race, number one. Uh, I had never run competitively before in my life, and uh, it was just to get out there among uh, all the other people and uh, see how well you can do. This year, we've got a, between some buddies and buddies of mine, we've got a, a little, little bet going on. You know, the one who finishes first between us four receives uh, approximately $75. Well, you know, a lot of us, I think a lot of people in the race, my age at least, have not really ever taken part in sports. And, and I think as you get older, when I'm 35, as you get older, you have a sense of, of your body is not going to last forever. And so you, you want to work at it, you know, to keep it a little bit longer. As it, and I think that I've become more aware as I've gotten older of my health. And so I do it strictly for health. And, uh, and the enjoyment of getting out and letting, you know, some tensions out and being able to think and relieve a few anxieties. Excuse me, you're here for the race to register? Uh, I believe they'll help you out over there. Oh, I was, I'm sorry. I was just going to ask you about the volunteers. Did you get the rest of your volunteers? Yeah, I have enough there. What do you have now? 100 and what at the finish line? Uh, 150 at the finish line. 150? And, 150. and how many at the start? And the start, we got about 30 people that are going to work that. Okay. Oh, I don't know what I was going to ask you. Did, did uh, we get any more like people from Mars or anything oh, registered? Oh, not in the race? Mars, but Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Three, three, three are coming over for a visit, and they're gonna, they had a friend of theirs come in. Yeah. And you talked to editorial them. about, about them. talking to them. Yeah. 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 I talked to them, and they're going to try to call. Them. Last minute, people are coming in. I guess. Yeah. They'll be coming in till six. Probably. We are going to hit ten thousand. Yeah, we've already hit ten thousand with that stack. That does it. And then we can really say it's the capital, capital ten thousand. Okay, can I have your initials right here, please? Right there, yes, ma'am. Hold on, I'll get your packet for you. I didn't put the t-shirt size on here. What size shirt did you need? Yeah, I'll check the tags. They're all right color and everything.
One largest front row Thank star. You. on each side. What we are looking for are the people in the top 10 age groups to fill those shoots. As you approach the finish line and make the U-turn back towards the finish, there will be about a 150 yard sprint to the finish. There will be plenty of people down there guiding you to the appropriate place. It will be females to the right, 
Males to the left. The entire finish the line is Nine workers will here. operate a nine button chronomix. One person will operate a single button chronomix, which is this little brown one here. These people each will be assigned a sex and a color. They will punch their assigned buttons each time a runner with their assigned color crosses the finish line. I will say, take your mark and the cannon will go off. That will be the start of the race. 30 seconds to race time. Everybody in place? On the Chronomix, what happens if two people cross the finish line at the same time with the same color? You push your button twice, real fast. This machine here can hold up to 900 times. Runners, take your mark.
see if he'll be responding. Sorry. You're volunteering your services this morning, aren't you? The ham radio operators did, yes. And that, we just saw one thing that you did. Who were you calling? Uh, we called uh, Jester Hall, uh, her sister, to come and pick her up. She's having a little problem. Oh, you get somebody to use a telephone. Well, the ham radio operators have a, a, a uh, repeater and access to the phone lines through this repeater. Is this the only problem you had today? At this position, the ambulance just left to pick up someone with a broken leg, as I understand. <laughs> Feel great. Real fine. 
Oh, great. Great. Hey, cool. Tired. Uh, after you start get to running, and then something like this will just make you relax. Great. Pretty good. It was a great run. I feel very tired, but I feel relieved. I couldn't sleep too good last night because I was thinking of the race, and I'm glad it's over. Tired. My arm's about to fall off. Well, I'm a little tired, but I'm feeling good. In fact, I'd like to do it again. I'm proud of myself. I didn't win. I didn't come in the first 100, but I did survive, and that's the main thing. Did the wind bother you a whole lot? Yes. As a matter of fact, when you're running up here, you have to, have to practically look down because uh, the wind is directly in your face, and the wind was so strong until it kind of cuts off your breath a little bit. That was, that was the worst part. <laughs> the hills up there rising, we started on uh, 15th Street. That was the hardest part of it. Oh, God. 15th Street. Uh, I'm trying to go up those hills. Uh, this last section, the last mile, I think. This is my third race. This is the first time I've raced. That's my first race. My first one, too. This is my fourth, capital 10,000. And you going to do it again next year? I hope to. It's been a good luck going. Come on, see me! Here's your time on the clock to your left. Come on, see me! Come on, see me! It's a foot race to the finish. Well, I really wasn't in the crowd at all today. I took off from the start and I never saw the 10,000 people or whatever it was out there. Until the finish, I couldn't believe it. I looked back and I, people lined up as far as you could see us. First place for the time of 43 minutes and 20 seconds, David Ware. I can't believe these people are still smiling and running after going through that. Let's have a hand. We have somebody over here I'd like for everybody to meet. B. Newark, I believe, was our oldest runner at 19. Right. 82. I'm pleased. It's a challenge. And I've enjoyed every minute of it. I think everybody should walk and run and do all the things. <laughs> Thank you.